Cruella de Vil, Cruella de Vil. Just hearing her name used to make you feel ill. Now suddenly she's dripping with goodwill. Can this be Cruella de Vil? Uh, wait, what? What? <laughs> uh, what? <laughs> what is going on? What is up, Disney fans? Welcome back to the channel. I am D.L. Vincent. Welcome to another edition of the Disney Cast, where this is a podcast talking about everything Disney, and I'm joined with my co-host and my girlfriend, a.k.a. the... The, the the parrot to my puppy. <laughs> that was a weird one. Oh, we can go with it. Shay. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Yeah, I'm off my game right now. Yeah. I just, normally we have clever blanks to my blanks. You want to go with the two dogs' names? What, what were they? Dottie and Dipstick. Okay, let's do that. <laughs> the Dottie to my Dipstick, Shay. Or you could have gone with the two main humans. Go to where to you know, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Today we're talking about 102 Dalmatians. Yes, which this is, is the a sequel. second live action Dalmatians movie with Glenn Close as Cruella. Yes. Came out in 2002. 2002? Maybe? Maybe. <laughs> we'll <check>. <laughs> <laughs> I looked at it this morning and then I forgot. Oh boy. Oh, 2000. Came out in 2000. 2000. So four years after the first right. live action one. Yep, so uh, we've already talked about the two animated 101 Dalmatians movies, and we talked about the first live-action one. If you guys haven't checked that out, I'll leave a link in the description to those videos, and you guys can watch them. But yeah, talk about 102 Dalmatians. Um, oh boy. <laughs> yeah, much like the first one, this was uh, marketed to hell when I was a kid. I saw saw this everywhere, like yeah. 102 Dalmatians, and it was on my VHSs as well. I don't previewing think I've this. seen this one before this morning when I watched it. Mm -hmm. Now, weird thing is, I haven't I haven't revealed this. I saw this before the first one. What? Yep, I saw this out of order. This is the first live action 101 Dalmatians movie I saw. Wow. Yeah. It's so what did weird. that make you think um, about the franchise? Well, uh, well, it didn't really affect it that much because yeah. I saw the original um, yeah. so you still one before knew about, this. Like Anita and Roger and yeah. Pongo and Perdita. Right, and it, yeah, I was confused none of whom why are in this movie. Yeah, they're not in this movie. I was confused when no. I was a kid. I was like, wait, where's yeah. Jasper and Horace and yeah. and Anita characters... and Roger and <laughs> yeah, the only characters from the first live action that are in this one are Cruella. Um, what's the name of her ballet? I forgot his name. Oh yeah. Um, her ballet, who she is very much Alonzo. Alonzo. Yeah. And then one of the puppies from the first one is now an adult in this one. Dipstick. Yeah. Which I'm confused about why he's not with Roger and Anita when there was such a big deal about them not giving up any of the puppies. Right. They but now had someone's a... adopted one of their original 15 puppies? Yeah, so like they had a what? huge like Dalmatian plantation at yeah, the end so of the movie. Yeah, so they could keep all of the dogs. And apparently they weren't spaying or neutering any of the dogs because they're like, their children and their children and their children. Yeah. Spay and neuter your pets. Anyway. <laughs> Oh well. <laughs> oh well. So apparently they allowed Dipstick to be um, adopted by Chloe. Yeah. Who is a um, parole officer in this movie. Yeah, and the parole officer to Cruella de Vil. To Cruella, who gets out of jail because she's been Pavloved. <laughs> And I'm like, okay, well, she went they to have a, a Dr. Pavlov in this movie who makes her love dogs and want to be a nice person. He's like a mental institution for I just, Did you pets notice and... that when she was in there, they had her as prisoner number 6660? Yes, I did. <laughs> I'm like, okay. Okay. Very on the nose there yeah. and really dark, but you know. <laughs> but yeah, now she's all about puppies and she's a nice person and don't call her Cruella. It sounds so cruel. Now, call me Ella. Call me Ella now. It's really strange because if you... I, I thought about this watching this. If you guys remember the, the live action of Cinderella that came out in 2015, her... Cinderella's original name is Ella, so they're well, doing that again. Well, her original name. Okay. Cinder is like ashes called her Cinderella as like a mean thing because she was covered in ashes and forced to clean. Okay. Well, her name's always been Ella. Well, not to go into a tangent about <laughs> Cinderella, but I'm going to That's in a little why. bit. But it's like, yeah. I don't find that name really demeaning because like it doesn't feel, it doesn't seem like an insult. Cinderella, like unless you know what c that cinder part means. I'm like, I didn't even think of that watching the original and stuff like that. So yeah, I didn't feel like they need to, to explain why she's called Cinderella. I would have been just okay. If, oh, that's her birth name. 
it's a fantasy world. It is a weird name, but I'm like, I'm gonna go with it. But um, it was just weird that that I guess for me that didn't know the actual lore of Cinderella. Like, <laughs> why is it? How could you not know? Because I don't care about Cinderella. Uh oh, <laughs> I just oh, upset shoot. some people. Oh, I don't care dip. about Cinderella. I'm sorry. I mean. <laughs> Yeah, I watched the original when I was a kid, but, like, it's not going to be... I mean, Cinderella, the story of Cinderella has been around forever. Yes. In lots of different cultures. Right. Like, in me watching the original as a kid, like, I mean, it was all right, but, like, I wouldn't say it's a movie I revisited, you know, as much as others, you know, and then... You, did There's you, been so many remakes so of Cinderella. So many they Cinderella films. Too. Like, you think we don't have enough now? Like, I think we're good. I'm getting tired of it. I dread the day where we have to review all the Cinderella movies. And that's... it's going to be like 38 of them. <laughs> well, at least we're not going to do the ones that are non-Disney. Non Disney ones. That, Just Disney no. specific. That'll bring it down to like 17. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, man. It's like, I mean, even though... You know, there's a couple of them I really like. I do like uh, I do like the live action remake, and I like Cinderella three. And <laughs> I've heard that one is the best of the sequels. Oh, you haven't seen it? Weird... I think I have. It's been a long time. I know there's a weird like time thing. Yeah, yeah. when it got crazy, man. I know there's a funny part where the king is like, "You're forbidden to like go down the stairs or something." He's like, "Okay," and he jumps out the window. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, that, that was nuts, Ooh. man. But yeah. yeah, anyway, back to back 101. To 102, down. Two, 102, I'm sorry. So, yeah, so okay. only three characters from the original in this one. Yeah, so... It's a little weird, but whatever. Yeah, so I don't know if I could say this is better than the first one. No. It's, I don't know if I'd say it's worse, because, like... I think it's a little worse. You think it's a little worse? I don't like worse. it as much as the first one. Like, I think there's some stuff they do better than the first one, but then there's, there's some, some stuff that... There's some moments that I like. But then but like, there's some stuff that's worse than the yeah, first one. So sure. it's like, I don't know, I guess for me, it's like, it's similar quality with the first one. There's still you some... You think they're on par with each other? Yeah, there's some weird choices in this one, too. Definitely. And, you know... Glenn Close's um, Cruella is still really enjoyable. Yeah, I still really enjoy Glenn Close in this movie. And I still like the dogs and the pets and the animals yeah. in this. Um, they kind of go back on like just having none of the animals talk, though, when they have a parrot who thinks he's a dog. And oh, yeah. And can just translate for all the dogs. Oh, yeah, just he tell just... tell us what they're saying. Yeah. It's like, well, I guess it doesn't matter that the dogs can't talk because the parrot will just tell us. Right, and like he doesn't just like repeat one or two words. He's speaking in full senses. Yeah, which like a parrot can't <laughs> do that like no <laughs> that's not how parrots work it's not iago from aladdin what are you yeah. doing um and also this parrot thinks that he's a dog he thinks he's a rottweiler yeah like okay and then there's this whole thing is like and later he's like i'm not a rottweiler i'm a retriever, retriever. Boom, ting, because he learns how to fly because he doesn't think he could fly throughout the whole movie it's but like, then dogs can't fly kevin <laughs> and then that's a dude right kevin yeah kevin okay, yeah and, but then like when oddballs in trouble that's when he's like oh i gotta i gotta help her and then oh i can fly now yeah what do you think those wings are on you like what do you think they are for show like apparently oh that was unless weird. dog birds never looked in a mirror before yeah this thing like i'm just a furry dog with a beak okay okay sure, sure. and then he eats sure. dog food which is not a complete diet for a parrot. I didn't think so, but it's like, kind of cute. He has a little... <laughs> it was a little, a little cup. Cup like thing. Pillow. Yeah, that was kind of... Yeah. That was kind of cute. But, um... But yeah, yeah. Then they have a... Actually have a real Wattweiler that drools a lot, and then I, I don't know the other All their names breeds. were very specific to, yeah. like, their personalities. They yeah. had, like, what was he? Drooly or yeah. something like that. Yeah. I'd say that. I, I that, that was gross. I just look up 102 Dalmatians dog names. But yeah. yeah, Dipstick is owned by Chloe, who is a parole officer. Um, mm -hmm. And she is Cruella's parole officer, parole officer, and then also one of the guys who works at the Second Chance Dog Rescue. Yeah. Yeah. So, they could have... Okay, so, I don't understand. Like, they... They plant the seeds in the first movie. Like, th something that could have been really interesting and creative is, like, what if this movie followed um, Roger and Anita's daughter, you know? Yeah. Like, <laughs> I was going to look up, like, if that's who it was, but then I remembered that her name was different. And right. And this was only three years after the first one, so it couldn't have been their daughter. Right. And yeah. then it's like, would the dogs be... Because then it could have just been the descendants of the dogs. And right. And it made sense for her to have one because, of course, Anita and Roger could have given one of the puppies to their child. Right. But apparently they're just giving the puppies to random people. 
Yeah, but even but even then, this only takes place three years after the first movie, so it's like there's no way it could have been her. Yeah. So I'm like, and also Quelle Deville would have been really old yeah. if it was actually their daughter. Yeah. So like if it was her as an adult, but mm-hmm. yeah. So Chloe has um, dipstick. She also has another Dalmatian who I don't think came from the Dalmatian plantation, whose name is Dottie. Mm. They don't mention her being from. Yeah. And then they have three puppies who are Domino, a mm. little dipper, because he ha- his tail looks like Dipstick's tail, and then yeah. Oddball, who doesn't have any spots. Right. And then that's the whole thing of yeah. Oddball. Did feels... you notice on Domino's collar, they just had a Domino as, like, his tag no. instead of... <laughs> I did not notice Like, that. having a regular dog tag with his name. I thought that was a cute detail. <laughs> I appreciated it. That's cute. So the whole thing is Oddball feels, like, insecure because, you know, she's the she only one. She doesn't have any spots. She doesn't have any spots. And I guess the whole movie, she's trying to find stuff to make her look like she has spots or whatever. Yeah, so, like, she tries to roll in some printer ink and, like, she gets yeah. a sweater at one point that has spots. Mm-hmm. That was cute. Um, yeah, I guess that, that was, I don't know. It was cute, but it's, like... I don't know, that felt a little goofy to me, I don't know, because it's like, they don't want to say spots around her either, because she'll react even more. They're like worried that she's going to be self-conscious, but she's a dog. She's a dog, why would she care if she has spots? (laughs) I mean, I know it's a Disney movie, fantasy stuff, whatever, but it's like, I don't know, That I don't feel like that's something that oddball would be worried about really if this is going by real dog logic that you know she doesn't talk or whatever but then you have you have the talking parrot that thinks he's a dog so it's like what should i look up the names of the dogs it's drooler for the one yeah um and then it doesn't want to tell me the other dog's names what was the parrot's name it was like waddlesworth yeah waddlesworth yep um so the 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 owner of the 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 dogs is uh yeah kevin played by I, I, I own Gruffid, who was Mr. Fantastic in the Tim Story Fantastic Four movies, so I think he's a good actor. Um, he was pretty solid in this. Yeah, it was fun. Um, yeah, it's not too much to say. There's yeah. not a lot of... He has a romance with Chloe. Yeah, which I kind of saw that coming oh, a yeah, duh. Away. <laughs> oh, yeah, duh. Like, well, like why wouldn't you? And mm-hmm. said, what's, what was so funny about that, when they go out to dinner yeah. and the dogs... The dogs are watching Lady and the Tramp and then they're going out <laughs> and eating Italian. And so they're having spaghetti and it's mirroring the Lady and the Tramp scene. Yeah, they're literally playing the music yeah. while they're on yeah. the date. Yeah, he like rolls her a meatball from his plate. <laughs> She's eating all of hers. Yeah. Yeah. That was was cute. It was cute. And very corny. Yes. (laughs) You got to put in that product placement in there. Yeah. They did it in, you know, a nice way. They they do it in a nice way. (laughs) So, okay. So here's where the movie goes completely off the rails. Yes. Is when... Okay. So apparently the psychiatric wards that was, you know, made Cruella all better... Didn't didn't know that there's a certain frequency of sound that, that undoes it. That undoes it. Which apparently is the sound of Big Ben, the bell I'm in like, the tower in in London. How could you have missed that one specific detail? Yeah. So Big Ben plays over the TV, which makes like all of the animals in the facility like undo. So the canary gets eaten by the the cat. Mm-hmm. Uh, the fox starts chasing the goose and they're not friends anymore and then what was the other one like he got a dog to be vegetarian mm. He's trying to eat the rabbit now uh, yeah uh, he doesn't feel the need to tell anyone about this though right like even though and then Cruella hears Big Ben and then they represent her like going back to her Cruella form by her hair just like popping just ding, out of place ding, ding. like a cartoon literally. literally like a cartoon and then uh, I think that happened because Oddball like was playing with the printer and then she finds herself like out there on a building and like she's yeah, about big to ben fall is behind yep and, and then... we know that big ben is the bell and not the tower and the clock right 
Wait, do you, just do, say that. Do real people quick. do people think that's? Do yeah, people think we'll get mad if you don't say that it's the bell. So the okay. bell is Big Ben. The bell and the is tower Big ben. is not. Okay, well, I'll make that distinction <laughs> then. But anyway, so yeah, so when the when the bell goes off, mm -hmm. yeah, that's when yeah her hair starts sticking out of place like a cartoon when she sees um, the back. other Dalmatians, and then okay, and then her her outfit starts yeah, making her shoulders pointed. pop off, and then when she goes outside, she starts she, seeing everyone as like Dalmatians. She spots they're, like, and she's spots. growing like, all claws. Like, Black spots on them. Yeah. It's weird. It's a weird sequence, it's but very you know. strange. But you know, yeah. Cruella's already over the top, it's a so unhinged. So yeah, it let's just, it makes just sense. go for it. Um. So yeah, that that so that happens. Um. Mm -hmm. And so she's back on her mission to make a puppy coat. Yep, the, from the same drawing from the first movie. Except she's added a hood this time. Oh, she needs so a she hood needs now. she needs more puppies right. to do it. Which, okay, so the one thing I don't understand. So she says she needs 102, including Oddball. So what is Oddball? Like, why? She doesn't know that there's, like, an all-white one, does she? Oh, yeah, I, they I don't know. The whole thing about later, like, she doesn't want Oddball. She doesn't want Oddball, oddball so it's like, kill her. So, okay. She's um, calling her a white rat. Right. So before Cruella goes back to being evil again. She, you know, she wants to do good for the dog community or whatever, so she helps um, Kevin with her, you know... With her... his um, second chance dog shelter. Right. And so, um, then... Yeah. Was, so, and of course, the, um, Al... Uh, Chloe! Sorry, Chloe. not the, that's like, the actress. I don't Chloe. believe it. You're right, I don't Cruella's, believe it. She's all doing this to get closer to the dogs. And then Kevin's like, no, she's no, changed. she deserves a second chance. Yes. I believe in second chances. Right. And then when Cruella turns evil, that's when um, she goes and finds this other fashion model designer. <laughs> oh my god. She, she was off. French. Jean-Pierre. Like, Jean-Pierre Le <laughs> He was awful. He was so bad. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, and the outfit that he had, she goes to the show and he's like a fur designer and he comes out and he's wearing this ridiculous coat and he throws it off and there's like a leopard head on his shorts. Like with the tail and everything. It's horrible. What is this? It's look so bad. Looking like a discount Craven the Hunter. Like oh, what? What is this? So they they join forces so they can steal puppies again. And then also they're going to frame Kevin. Yeah, because he has a prior conviction for dog napping, which Chloe didn't know. Mm -hmm. So they put the blame on him when puppies start going missing by putting some of the missing puppies like in his shelter. Yeah. Which like, okay, yeah, you're just gonna right. use that as evidence. But then they have okay, the inspector who comes to check and has the warrant is yep. Carson from Down Nabby. That is all. Very exciting. I haven't watched Down Nabby. Well. We should watch that. It's pretty good. I keep hearing from, you know, everyone that's good. He, Kree and Evan watched it, yeah. and they said it was good. I mean, good. Evan even liked it. So I yeah, Evan even liked yeah. it, so maybe, maybe I will give it a it. chance. Yeah. I think it's good. Down it's down very Abby. long episodes, though. How long are they? Hour? Yeah. Oh, boy. It's like Game of Thrones. <laughs> yeah. Oh, boy. Um, then the... the down Nabby 2 is going to come out soon, as of this recording. Mm -hmm. so, that too. so I haven't actually seen the movie yet, but... You haven't seen the movie? No, well, I have to rewatch the show first. You do? Yeah. I don't know, because, like, Evan hasn't watched... Uh, did he watch I the mean, show you before? Really need, you probably don't need to watch the whole show to do it. But, but you wanted to enhance your experience. He saw the movie first, and then he started watching the show, I think. Mm. But, yeah, I wanted to rewatch the whole show. Because, like, I mostly see it when my mom's watching it, so I see pieces of it. And mm. I don't think I've ever actually seen it all the way through. Okay. Uh, maybe I know I'll all add the that. Major plot points. Anyway, so. Ah, maybe I'll add that to the list. Woo. Game of Thrones and yes, I still haven't watched Game of Thrones all the way either. through. Uh oh. Well, I wanted to read all the books and didn't finish all the books before the show was done. And they made season eight. And I'm like, yeah, I heard that was real bad. <laughs> yeah. My sister was certainly not happy about it. Mm -hmm. I was thinking about reviewing Game of Thrones, and seeing for myself how bad does it actually get. <laughs> Pretty bad is what I've heard. Watch me come out being like, it's not that bad, guys. Yeah, Everyone's gonna ha hate me. I have to see for myself, but you know, boom, we're getting off track. Back to yeah. 102 Dalmatians. So yeah, that whole thing happens. Um, 
So apparently the the warrant that Kevin had was that the dogs were actually under experimentation. They don't go into that enough. That was like no. They said that he stole dogs from a lab. Yeah, because exactly. They're being experimented experimentation. On. That's why he stole them from there. That's why he had the dog napping conviction. Right. Like, can we talk about the laboratory experiment stuff? Like, what are you well, experimenting are you dogs on? <laughs> like that's cosmetics or like they still do animal testing on dogs and rabbits. And... I guess so. That just yeah. seemed like a very jarring plot point to bring up, and they just they just brush over. Yeah, like, they were trying to say he was dog napping for a noble reason, and not like just to steal dogs. Right. Which okay, that's cool. Okay. Um, well, I kind of breeze past that. Yeah, I'm like what? Yeah. And so yeah, so there's the whole chase that goes on when they get the puppies. Um, mm-hmm. they somehow are able. They send to- them to Paris. To Paris, yeah. Um, um, Chloe finds out about it because Cruella has this dinner to, like, get her out of the house with her dog. Yeah. And then the puppies get stolen by Le Bear. Le Bear. <laughs> uh, yeah, and then, yeah, trap them into that, that closet, that closet with the fur coats. Yeah. That she first, she wanted to, you know, lock because she was good and she doesn't want to look at fur anymore. But then she turns evil, she literally breaks she the breaks stuff down. She breaks her hands, like, like, ripping the wood off. We didn't talk about her dog that she got, too. Like, uh, uh, Alonzo got her a dog when yeah. she got out of prison. Mm-hmm. Fluffy. Fluffy. It's a little rat-looking dog. <laughs> Look, I'm sorry for all you dog lovers, but that is not a good looking dog. It's not. It's like, they have that same kind of dog in Hotel for Dogs. Have oh, you seen that? Yeah. <laughs> I was and not that a, same kind of dog. Yeah, I was not a fan of that. Um, but yeah, not 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 a good looking dog. I mean, she, she, he he served his purpose in the movie, yeah. helping everyone, which uh, commend him. He never them. liked Cruella. Right, <laughs> even when she was nice. Yeah, but he was um, always growling at her. He did not like her. Yeah. Um. Anyway, but um. So yeah, somehow they're able to get a hundred and two Dalmatians again. Like, it seemed yeah. very convenient there. He would just get the and Dalmatians. And after the inspector came and arrested Kevin, like, Alonzo was just able to take the puppies that they had taken and just steal them and no one Lily, noticed. Open, open their car also, door and take it. Also, when Kevin was in prison, <laughs> they just let his dogs go with him and the bird. That would never happen. No. They would never let you have all of your dogs and your bird in a cell with you in jail. No. And because of that, of course, the bird helps him get the keys. He sings to the guard to lull him to sleep, I guess. Yeah. Which, like, I don't think would work if a parrot was singing to me. I'm like, this is creepy. Yeah, not, he's not singing very well. Yeah, it's well, not like, good. Gold um, fly. But he steals the keys. Breaks yeah. him out of jail. There's no repercussions for Kevin. Oh, no. Ev- for breaking out of jail. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. They never bring it up. <laughs> um, but he breaks out of jail. Him and Chloe are trying to find the puppies. They go to Paris. They find, like, basically a sweatshop, I guess, that Lapel has, where he's... Yeah, yeah. that's also a fake. Connected it's to a, a bakery? bakery, and like, why would a bakery be set up like that? I have a lot of things to say about the bakery. Let's get into it because I think we're there. Just like, <laughs> why would it be set up that way? And you would never bake a cake that's like the shape of three tiers all together. It would be the driest ass cake if you baked it long enough for the middle to not be wet. Yeah, it would be a horrible cake. You would never make a cake in like an upside down three layer pan. And the amount of time they had in the oven never would have been long enough to cook a cake. Right, and then why are the it was cakes like that? One minute. Yeah, and why are the cakes human size? I mean, I know there's wedding cakes that are big, yeah, but it's like... But like, you would still make those as individual cakes that you would slice and put frosting or icing or filling in between the layers. You would never have just a giant cake block. Right. And then how they set up, like, the icing and the sprinkles to be on there, There's like... It's a very complicated system for making this cake, too. Like, levers across the room that all the puppies were smart enough to pull and right. do in order to make a cake. And they just had this vat of eggs. Vat of... Yeah, a big vat they of got, eggs. Like, they just on her. pour it on her. And then a big... Th- then they, she drops it to a thing of milk. And... Yeah. And then they're just throwing bags of flour down there. And, like, all the bags aren't just ending up in it. They're just exploding as soon as they get there. And none of the pieces of the bag are getting mixed into the cake. Nope. And then, yeah, the icing and the sprinkles are aligned See, like also, they're I only squirt guns. eggs, milk, flour. Yeah. In the cake. So it would have tasted really bad. Yeah. No sugar. Really nasty. No vanilla. Nope. Nope. That it would have tasted really bad. Bland ass cake. Yeah. And then yeah, the the spring no salt. Salt. Bad cake. Nope. 
And then, yeah, like the, the sprinkles <laughs> and the icing. What would you say? Leavening, like baking Leavening. soda, baking powder. I didn't put any of that shit in there. No. <laughs> what is this bakery, too? Because then she go, it's like going down a weird conveyor thing with yeah. knives. <laughs> and slides and... What? 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 And then they, like, wheel her into an oven. It gets... Corella's in the cake, by the way. Yes. There's a big mixer that comes down. They gotta, they gotta do the slapstick again for yeah, the first movie. Yeah, Over... is in the cake. <laughs> yeah. And it goes in the oven for, like, one minute, and then comes out, and then she's in the cake. Uh, she, like, uh, kicks out the bottom, and her arms are right. out, and then they're shooting frosting and sprinkles at her, and then she just opens up into a restaurant? Right. What? Wouldn't she get third-degree burns from the oven as well? Yeah, and, like, I guess she was only in there for, like, a minute. The cake never would have been cooked. <laughs> no. There's no way. No, not, let alone crispy. Yeah, like, <laughs> the outside wouldn't get done, let alone the middle. It would have been goo. Right. So, I'm a baker. Yeah, she knows the stuff. I work in a bakery. Yeah. <laughs> how would the puppies have known how to make a cake? Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. D- Disney. <laughs> uh? It's weird. It was weird. And then, of course, Drooler has to drool on top of Cruella after yeah. it's done. Okay, I know it's Cruella. She's a horrible person. But even I kind of felt bad for her that she was did this dirty in this movie. She had to go through so much slapstick in the first movie. And now she's going through it again. Well, it's it like... shit this time. It was cake batter. Cake batter and... Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Which I guess it is slightly better, but it's like it's just so weird how this really weird. this factory is set up. Like it's it's like it's, that's not how bakeries it's work. It's not how it works. And then why would the bakery? Why would the factory be connected to the shop or yeah. the restaurant? Like literally open know. the door and then the car. Okay. It's very confusing. Very strange. The setup of it. Like, they just wanted to have this cool sequence with a cake, and they were willing to do whatever to make it happen. Yeah, let's do it. We're a live action cartoon. Let's know. go this for really it. Weird. And then she gets arrested, and then all of her fortune goes to um, the dog shelter. Yeah. Because it's the only one in that borough, and that's the judge's condition for her getting out of jail is that her whole fortune would go to dog shelters if she like couldn't stay out on parole. Yeah. So, and then yay. and then they, they find give out. Pounds to the dogs. Yeah, they give her. Get more money yay. to the dogs, more pounds to the dogs, yay. And then Oddball gets her spots at the end. Yeah, she gets like three tiny little spots. Yep. Yep. Yay. Oh, I forgot one thing. When they did the Twilight Bark this time, they had all puppies, which was cute. Oh yeah, they did. And they had the Queen's Corgi puppies in there. Mm-hmm. That was That, that was, was a nice. detail I liked. They did not nice lunch. Um, and then they had a dog on a, a puppy on a boat who hit like the speaker mm-hmm. and was barking across the river. Yeah. That, that was that Tracy was cute. Was the Thames. The what? The Thames. The Thames. It's a river in London. Ah. I've never been to London, so I've never no. been to London either. How would you know, know that? Everyone knows. Who, who is everyone? <laughs> Anyone who's read any literature about London, any book, any show about London. All right, I, okay. I, I feel the shots being thrown at oh, me. I get it. It's definitely mentioned in Doctor Who and like. One with David Tennant, I think. David they brought Tennant. it up. There was one with um. Twelve. What was his name? I'm blanking on his name the right 12? now. The eyebrows. He has crazy eyebrows. Crazy eyebrows. Is it Peter Capaldi? Yes. Okay. I knew Capaldi. I couldn't remember his first name. Hmm. Um. Yeah. They talk about it in that one too, because it like freezes over and like there's a thing with evil snowmen. Of course. <laughs> I haven't, I haven't got, I haven't finished uh, Peter Capaldi's. That's where I'm at. So yeah. I don't know about the female doctor, how good or bad she is, I've seen or some whatever. Episodes. I like her. Yeah, I probably want to revisit that. Maybe I'll review them in the future. I have a lot of things put on the list. Yeah. But anyway. It's a very long list. Very long list. Overall, is that all we got to talk about? I just to the Twilight Park with all the puppies. I thought that was cute. Okay, but yeah, overall. Um, it's a weird sequel. It's weird. For um, sure. But you know, it's not any any more weirder than the first one, in my opinion. They're both yeah. very I strange. Like characters from the first one. But yeah, I wish I wish Roger and Adita came back. Um, I mean, not that these new characters are bad; they're yeah. fine. But it's, it's just like if a sequel only has like one character from the first one, it's just like. Okay. Yeah, like what kind? Of, it feels sure. like more like an anthology than a sequel. Yeah. Um, but yeah, Cruella. Uh, Glenn Close's Cruella is still very entertaining to watch. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, the, I like the puppies again. 
Um, even the parrot is funny, even though it's weird that the parrot thinks that he's a dog. Um, yeah, definitely weird. Yeah. Parrots can't talk like that also, just like full conversation sentences and mm. translating for dogs. Yeah, not a thing. Not a thing. It's weird they want to do it in this movie, but then they want to make um, um, Iago a real parrot in the live action movie. Really? <laughs> you don't want him to talk in... <laughs> I guess, but... All oh, right, whatever. Um, and they did tone back the, the silliness of the snap slapstick, even yeah. though the... the, the a tiny the bit. Cake scene, a though. But it's... Like I said, it's not molasses and mud and... It's just less gross. This it's time. less gross. That's what I call toning it down. It's still okay. silly and over the top. Like, I could do without it. We don't need another Home Alone... Crap. How do these dogs know how to do this stuff? Yeah. Jean Pierre is terrible. Jean Pierre. Jean Pierre. <laughs> Tell me, is he is he worse or better than um the painter in oh, Patches really London Adventures? Lars. I really hate <laughs> Lars. I think they're equally bad. <laughs> yeah. Like why? Just no. Um, but yeah, just I don't know, it's a cute movie. It's fine, I guess. It's fine, you know, I don't mind the kids. I don't watch. like it as much as the first one, but I enjoy Glenn Close. Yeah. She's really the highlight of both films, I would say. Yeah. As far as live action sequels, it's probably the best one because it's it's better than Alice Through the Looking Glass and um is that the only live action sequel? Yeah, I, don't know what I can think of right now. Yeah, I haven't seen that one in a while, so <sighs> I don't know how I'd compare it. Oh boy. But yeah, I think it's better than Alice Through the Looking Glass, which is not saying a lot. Um, but yeah, I, oh. I guess I'll say that um, 102 Dalmatians is, once again, just okay. It's just okay, but not as good as the first one. Yeah, at say. least in her opinion. In my opinion. Yeah. But, so it's just okay, but underneath the first one for me. Right. All right, that's our thoughts on 102 yeah. Dalmatians. Yeah. What did you guys think about it? Did you guys love it? Did you guys hate it? Did you guys think it was okay? Comment below. Let us know. Uh, let us know where does this compare with the other live action remakes? Is it better? Is it in the yeah. middle? And if you've seen Cruella, let us know how you think it compares to that because we'll be watching that soon once it once it's free on Disney+. Plus. True. <laughs> so if you guys enjoyed this, don't forget to leave a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell if you want to be notified of future videos we'll be doing. But that's all we have for you Disney fans. We'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you for listening. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.